what was interesting to me is that in the entrepreneurial world, uh, so many entrepreneurs have all these weird sticks about like their food and their exercise and their what you know orange glasses they wear and their finger toe shoes and their biohacking and just all this weirdness. And uh, they're like, oh no, I only eat keto. And they're like, oh, I only do intermittent fasting, right? And I'm sitting there listening to them. I'm like eating Twizzlers and cookies and ice cream. And they're like, what the, you know, like, what are you doing? And by the second day, they see that I literally continue to eat this way like an asshole. And they're like, what are you, what are you doing, man? Like, how, how does this work? I was like, all right, this is, uh, this is kind of how I've been eating for 17 years. And I was in better shape than all the guys there. And believe it or not, um, I've been doing this for almost 20 years. Um, I've been in shape that entire time. I have not, not had a six pack since I was 13 or 14. Um, and I eat ice cream every day. Yep. Every day. And I drink alcohol and I eat cookies and I do all the things, um, that people want to do. All right. And so what I'm going to take you through is a very special little thing that I put together. All right. So, uh, buckle up and, uh, I think that you will enjoy this. The first thing that everybody has to understand is what body type you are and what body type you'd like to become, right? And so I kind of put this on a little matrix of high fat, low fat, low muscle, high muscle. You could be, you know, uh, high fat, low muscle, and you would have a very feminine figure, right? You could have low muscle, low fat, and be skin and bones. You could be high fat, high muscle, and just be big. You could be low fat. Uh, and high muscle, which is what a bodybuilder is. Once you figure out where you are, let's say you're skinny and you want to get uh, big, right? Then you would have a line that you can pretty much draw directionally to the place that you want to go. So if you're going up that way, that means you need to, to uh, increase your number of calories and you need to increase your volume. Here's the thing that got them all tripped up. Hey guys, do you guys want to know why all your diets are the same? There's three main macronutrients, right? You got protein, carbs, and fat. If you're eating a normal balanced meal, that's what something like this would look like. What happens is whenever you do a diet, right? So let's say you do keto. All you're doing is you're going to be removing this orange thing. Just you basically eliminate your carbs. And so you eat one third fewer calories. Makes sense. If you have a low fat diet, you're eliminating your fat, which is this yellow guy, right? And again, you're eating one third fewer calories. If you did a portion control diet, you would eat equal amounts of the same three things, but just less of them overall. And so you would, you guessed it, eat fewer calories. And if you did intermittent fasting, you would go from eating three meals a day to eating two meals a day. And guess what? You would be eating fewer calories, right? Is that you're eliminating calories. That is what is going on in every diet that you possibly do. All right. And so all these guys get all like, oh no, I do really well with low carb. I do really well with high fat, you know, high, low, whatever. It doesn't matter. Like it's all horseshit. It's just calories. It's all that matters. Okay. And so, um, this was driving me nuts, which is why I started making this little put together for you guys. Here's the, here's the fun one for you. And you had a diet that didn't work for you. Here's why. Let's say you did keto. If you did keto the, the right way, it would look like this, right? You would cut out your carbs. Now, this is what a lot of people who said, ah, oh, keto didn't work for me. It's like, cause you started drinking butter, right? You started eating ribeyes for breakfast every day that ended up actually netting you more calories than you would need, right? And that's why it didn't work for you. So what I will tell you now is what actually has to happen in order for it to work uh, in reality, okay? So these are the only three things that 99% of people need to know in order to figure out what they wanna, uh, how they wanna eat and how they wanna look. You just gotta know one, how many calories you need to eat, two, how many grams of protein you need to eat, and three, how much volume you need to do. I'm not gonna talk about number three today, I'm just gonna talk about one and two because that's what 99% of you need to even think about anyways. Here's the simplest way to figure out number one. Now there's a million, there's a million uh, little formulas that you can use here. The basic one is your body weight times your goal. Very simple. So if you're a 200 pound guy, right, and you wanted to maintain, then you'll probably be eating between 2,600 and 3,000 calories. So 200, do, do, do times 15 would be equal 3,000 calories, right? That's if you wanted to maintain on the high side, right? Now, let's say you wanted to lose weight and let's say you wanted to go a little bit more extreme, then it would be 200 times 10, which would be 2,000 calories. The thing is, is step one is you determine how many calories you're supposed to eat based on your goal. We go to step two. You gotta figure out how much protein to eat. Your body weight times one in grams is about what you need to have for protein per day. 
Very simple, all right? So if we're 200 pounds, then you need 200 grams of protein. And here's the biggest life hack I can possibly give you. 100 grams of protein is equivalent to one pound of lean meat. So if you needed to have 200 grams, that would be two pounds of lean meat. And so for me, the world's simplest you know, diet of all time is that I eat two pounds of meat a day. All right, and be like, that's crazy. It's not really, you get used to it, right? And uh, you just stop eating the crap that you probably eat right now. So two pounds of meat can be two pounds of shrimp. It can be two pounds of uh, tilapia. Uh, you could have uh, tenderloin, uh, chicken breast, right? There's a million of these, but the point is, is that a lean meat is a lean meat. Don't worry, you're like, what about the cookies and ice cream? I'm gonna get there. Now we have to figure out if we know how many calories we're eating per day and we know uh, how much protein we're eating, then we just need to figure out what's left over. Step three. We're gonna calculate our calories from our protein, all right? So roughly, roughly, but when you eat a source of protein like a chicken breast, there's also some fat in it, right? Even when it's super lean, there's still some fat. And so what we do, what I do, my back of napkin secret super method is you just multiply it by five. So if I'm gonna have my 200 grams of protein times five, it means I'm gonna eat about a thousand calories. They're gonna come from my protein sources. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my step four, my 2200 calories, subtract my 1000 calories of protein, and I've got 1200 calories of whatever the hell I want. Every day, here's the secret to having the body you want for the rest of your life, eating cookies every day. Here's the key. You eat the 1200 calories of whatever the hell you want. But the key point is that the cornerstone of the diet is that you get enough protein in. So you get your protein in first, and then you fill up to the lid and whatever else you want. You can eat them, you can be like, I can have five meals a day, you can have three meals a day, you could have one meal a day, it doesn't matter, all right? Crazy, I know. The reason this is so cool is that you can't fall off, right? There's no like diet, like you, you can eat whatever the hell you want. Um, this has been, you know, the, the secret behind it. It's also like the number one question I get, which is like, hey, what do you, what do you eat every day? Um, this is what I've eaten every day for almost 20 years. Um, and all I do is I adjust the, you know, the goal up and down. But the big point here is that all this stuff works because you can't fall off, right? You can't cheat because nothing is forbidden, right? And no one is immune to a calorie deficit, right? If you eat nothing long enough, you will lose weight. Everyone, like, like some people lose weight faster or slower, but everybody loses weight in a deficit. That's it. That's the, that's the food portion of, uh, of what Alex eats every day. And you know, you're, you're obsessed with all this biohacking and all the, all the supplements to try and, uh, to try and lose lose fat faster, but you're but you look the exact same years later, um, then uh, it's possible that maybe the stuff that you're doing doesn't work and it doesn't matter. Um, and instead, you should take a page out of this.